Hi, I'm Zian. I'm a freshman at MIT and I'm studying math and computer science. I'm currently a tutor at the National Bhutan Math Camp. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm a junior at MIT, currently in Bhutan for their National Math Olympiad Camp. Hi, um, so I'm Alvin. I'm from the US. I'm currently a senior at MIT. So I was part of the Australian IMO team from 2020 to 2023. I ended up getting a bronze medal, two bronze medals, one silver medal and one gold medal. Uh, throughout my journey in Olympiads, I sort of felt that it was a very enlightening experience and it was very helpful for me to sort of grow both as a person and, and as a mathematician. In high school, I did a lot of math competitions in the US, including Olympiads and the European Girls Math Olympiad. I currently help out with training in the US at their Math Olympiad program every summer, as well as the current deputy leader for the US team. Yeah, I've been interested in math for a long time. So since I was a pretty small kid, I've always loved doing puzzles. You know, we have like Sudoku and other number puzzles and word puzzles. And eventually that led me to doing like math. So in the US, we have math competitions like um, for middle school, for high school. Um, there's the American math competitions. And I thought that doing a lot of these problems from math competitions kind of felt like doing puzzles where you didn't really know what the answer was, but you could like, figure things out. You could try, try out lots of different methods. I'm here in January as a teacher at the Bhutan Math Camp, and it's been really great working with the students, and I feel like I've gone very close with them over the past month. This level of math has a lot of topics, so there's four main topics seen at the IMO. Um, it's algebra, combinatorics, number theory, and geometry. And throughout the past few weeks, we've been preparing materials for all four of these areas. And we generally follow a schedule where we introduce some new concept in these areas every two or three days. Attending this method was an eye opening adventure for me, surrounded by passionate peers and inspired mentors. I delved into complex math problems, sharpening my problem solving skills. By the end of the weekend, I not only gained knowledge, but a newfound confidence in tackling any math problem that comes your way. It was a journey of world discovery and a newfound love for numbers. I'm very honored to be part of International Mathematics Olympic IMO training here at Samtang. This program has been an incredible journey, helping me sharpen my problem solving skills, deepen my understanding of mathematics, and boost my confidence in tackling complex challenges. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my mentor for the unwavering support and guidance and to the government for providing such a valuable opportunity. This training is not only preparing me for the competition but also shaping my perspective on mathematics and its real world application. Currently we are undergoing a selection for the team of Bhutan Math Olympiad that is going to represent Bhutan in upcoming international math olympiad. So we became much more confident in solving complex problems and uh, it also helped us to enhance our critical thinking and problem solving skills. Something that has continuously impressed me throughout the month is just how hard the students work every day, like during camp from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then oftentimes doing math outside of camp. Another thing is the math we're teaching is really different from the math they learn in school. Definitely a lot more challenging and requiring problem solving. So every day we've been essentially just throwing a bunch of new topics at them and they've been able to um, just learn it well and very quickly. 
and this shows a lot of promise into them continuing math or math competitions into the future even after this camp. So I'm really excited to see where the students will end up in math. The students have been very bright and very talented students. They're very enthusiastic about math and I think this sort of participation in the IMO is very great for both the students themselves and sort of Bhutan as a country because it teaches them a lot of resilience, it teaches them about hard work and also shows them a lot more about the mathematical world that's out there. So the, the tests are also really similar in that capacity. None of the test problems are exactly the same as problems that students have seen before because we don't want to test your ability to just repeat what you've done before. We want to um, be able to see how you deal with a new challenge. So, um, like in a school test, students will often get close to full marks or full marks, but at the IMO, the average score is really low. And the same is true for our tests because it's important for the questions to be really hard for you so that you can feel challenged. Um, so that's been a really uh, key goal and we found it to be really effective. We see that students are improving a lot and we're really proud of all the efforts that they're putting in. I think that the students being at this camp really learned a lot of skills like not just math but also perseverance, like how to continuously work on hard problems and this would be helpful no matter what field the students end up in. Last year, I participated in the winter IMO coaching camp, which was held in Gallifu for almost three weeks. And this year, it is my second time participating in such camps uh, here in Wangdi Samtang. And the IM, winter IMO coaching camp was full of uh, enjoyment and enrichment, offering a lot of uh, valuable new learning experiences. And I was actually able to learn a lot of new concepts from the camp that I wouldn't have learned back in school and my understanding of mathematics grew significantly after attending this camp and it made me realize just how beautiful mathematics truly is. And last year, along with four of my friends, I represented Bhutan in the IMO 2024, which was held in UK in Bath. And the IMO problems were really hard for us, but we really enjoyed solving IMO problems. And uh, going for the IMO, we also got an opportunity to listen to the lectures from the world's renowned mathematicians like Terence Tao. And last year, despite being Sputan's first time participating in IMO, our result was better than what everyone anticipated. And this year, for the IMO 2025, which is going to be held in Australia, uh, we're aiming to do even better than last year. So on the first day, we asked the students their future ambitions and they all involved math in some way. And one other thing about math is that it really opens so many opportunities, um, like nationally and globally. Um, for example, uh, you can study math in other countries or do math research. And as I would say to the students that the most important thing is to just keep on learning and studying and you will find so many opportunities um, if you study, continue to study math, but the important thing is to always continue studying. Collaboration has been a really important and key role here. We encourage students to work together as they're solving problems and talk about math. And we find that that makes the process of solving math not only more instructive, but also more enjoyable because you can get ideas from other people and incorporate other people's learning strategies. Um, so, we found that using team contests and like problem, sessions, problem solving sessions in groups has been really helpful um, for the program. It's really important that students learn not only the topics that we cover, but also the ideas behind them. So what this means is you really have to solve problems to be able to like, get to really internalize the intuitions behind math. If you just watch somebody else lecture, um, students aren't going to be able to capture what it really means to understand a problem. And that's been one of our main focuses here. We'll focus on proof writing and we'll focus on um, really making sure students have like a full grasp of what motivates the math instead of just learning a formula. Because a lot of times you see um, formulaic problem solving won't get you as far. And a lot of these problems that you see at the IMO can't be reduced to just one or two formulas. You really have to like understand what's going on.